Patton and Magnusites, back with another Magnus Answers. And uh, this one came to me a little bit differently. I've actually asked a lot of you to do this before in the past, but most of you never do it. And I like it when people send me videos because it's kind of a reaction and a Magnus Answers all at the same time, you know what I mean? So, let me uh, cue this up here and get it started. Uh, let's see here. All right, so let's see what this young lady's issue is. Um, I just saw your video, Trina, read your comments. I commented on the previous video you did for her, or should say with her, and you read out all the comments that came before and after mine. So I put a ring down my piece of paper. And you ignored my comments. You are promoting someone's YouTube channel that has no picture no channel art and not even a video. And I can understand that she'll be doing that soon, but. Yeah, that's exactly why I did. Um, what else would I like to say? Yeah, like, she already has 3,000 subscribers, and it annoys me at the fact that there are many more people out there like me wanting to do YouTube as a career, as a hobby. And we are struggling to even get that many subscribers. I've been doing it for three months, and all I have was is two two hundred and seventy okay. subscribers. Okay, which is around what I had. And I've been working so hard around the same time months. as you. So I don't see the fairness in that at all. And I would just like your opinion, really, because. At the end of the day, like I said, we're struggling, and you're there promoting her. And yeah, I just don't think it's fair. It's a bit out of order, to be honest. But thank you guys for watching. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to tell you exactly why um, I did it. Well, actually, first off, let me give you the textbook parent answer. Life's not fair, okay? Life is absolutely not fair, okay? First off, um, I struggled and struggled and struggled and struggled, and finally, after three years, I finally was able to do YouTube as my career. Now, I get what you're saying, but here's the thing. I'm gonna to explain to you why it really doesn't matter. Because when, as a matter of fact, when I was with Sarah, a few years ago, I did a video and I told them that she would have her channel up shortly. And she did. And she had like a thousand or something like that subscribers because I wasn't that big then. But she had like a thousand subscribers her first week and she was so happy and she started making videos. And then eventually Sarah kind of, you know, fizzled out. She just stopped. Uh, I actually saw her the other day when she dropped the dog off and she told me she might start doing videos again. I don't know if she is or isn't. But it's the exact same thing that I'm doing with Katrina. Here's the reason why I'm doing it. They are contributing to my channel. They're contributing to content. So the fact that I did collaborations with my girlfriend all the time back then, I helped promote her channel. Katrina expressed an interest in YouTube. I met her through some other means and had known her and she expressed an interest in doing YouTube as a career, okay? So, she, I said, you know what? Come on the channel. 
the fellas always love me. Look, my, my, my female viewers fluctuate anywhere from 7% to 17% all the time. It fluctuates up and down. The majority of my viewers are male. So I do cater to my major part. So, um, when I bring women on the show, men love it. Teenage boys love it. They all love it. They love when I bring women on the show. So when I get a chance to, I do. You know what I mean? I know they're going to get... I, first of all, I know I'm going to get a kick out of their, just, their comments. Except for the bad comments. You know, the nasty ones and fucked up comments. But... They're always, it's always funny to me to read the comments when a woman is on my show. So, but I know they appreciate it because they love to see a woman's point of view. They get me all the time and hey, they love me. I got 400,000 subscribers, but still it's nice to see a woman on your show and see me interact from time to time. Okay. And you ever heard the, you know, the expression, you know, it's not who, you know, I mean, it's not what, you know, it's who, you know, well, it's kind of true. I mean, in life. It's like that. Life's not fair. Sometimes two people will go to, you know, to apply for a job and the one that knows somebody that works for the company, they're the one that get the job. And you might be more qualified, but you get it, but they get it because they knew somebody. And that's how it is. I've had a boss literally say to me, I mean, this is how a lot of the world is. This is how show business is. Why do you think there's so many families in show business? All of a sudden, their sister's in it, then their daughter's in it, then their son's in it, then their wife's in it. And they're all doing different things because somebody knew somebody. I knew it blew my mind at one point when I found out that Snoop Dogg was cousins with Brandy and with Ray J. And I was like, it is. You're always going to help your family. You're always going to help your friends. You know, guys get big sometimes. They have an entourage. Their entourage is nothing but their boys getting paid to be security and bag handlers and everything else. You know, so life's just not fair. And if you want a boost in subscribers, if you feel that you deserve more, then you continue to stay steadfast and you make your content the best that you can. And hey, you may want to collaborate. The first push in subscribers that I ever got was when I did a video for the Hodge Twins. I had no idea I was going to get a push. They, he, <laughs> I think it was uh, Keith. Keith wrote me and he told me that they were laughing their asses off. And they liked the video and he said, look, you're going to get a lot of subscribers because they're going to see that we liked it in our feed and that's going to help you out. And because I did a video called uh, Hodge Twins Heal Your Back Injuries. And I'll post that in the description box. Y'all can see. They gave me my first boost. I got like a thousand um, in like a couple of days, you know, and it was like so big to me back then because I only had like 250 or 500. It was just like, oh, my God. You know what I mean? So you can't take that negative route because there's going to be people all the time that get what you may think is an unfair advantage, okay? Katrina is working on getting her channel up as we speak, okay? But what if she never gets up, gets, you know, you know the channel up and running? Then it'll all be for nothing, you know? She would have helped me with my channel, but she would not have taken the advantage she has gotten from knowing me and moving forward. And who knows who you're going to meet in the future? But you got to have a better attitude than this. You can't be like, oh, well, he did this or she did that, and that's not fair. Man, life is not fair. You know, sometimes, you know, hey, look, I was in ShopRite one time, working for Pepsi, busting my ass being a workhorse for the co fucking company. And someone came up to me and they was like, yo, you know that girl just won um, the thousand dollars for life? Yeah, she just won it on that scratch off. And at that time, I was like, damn, that is so fucked up. That is unfair. Why? Why is it unfair? Because she chose to spend the, the five dollars or the dollar, two dollars, however much it is to buy that scratch off at the right time? Life is not fair, okay? She she apparently had the right energy to win that lottery that day. 
And then I asked myself a few years later after I learned to have more control of my life. And I said, you know what? Would I like to win the lottery? It wouldn't be bad. But uh, I'm a man's man. And a lot of me is a lot of pride. And money helps make things better. But truly accomplishing your goals and attaining financial stability and freedom through that through my hard work, through my perseverance, that feels so much better. So much better, you know? So don't worry about what other people are doing. I did it for Sarah, it worked for her. She ended up getting a mil, and she ended up getting a video that hit million views before I did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I still believe she has a talent for it, but I don't think it works in conjunction with her true passion in life. I love entertaining. I love making people laugh. I love helping people. I love educating people. I like doing all these things that I do. I, I love doing all these things, you know? And maybe Sarah just never loved it, even though she's got the potential to be good or even great at this. We'll see what Katrina does. Who knows? Maybe someone will work with you in the future, but you gotta change that attitude. All right, y'all. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed Magnus Answers, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If not, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And if you need to send me a question, make sure you look in the description box. And you can always make a video, upload it as unlisted, and send me the link. And I'll answer it that way for y'all. One million subscribers. Woo!